Okay, so what is celibate recovery? Well, celibate recovery can be described in this story. There was this little girl who would go around and pick up rocks and she would add them to her backpack. But obviously, you know, they, they added weight to her backpack every time she put something in there. And there were other children around who were splashing and playing in the water, you know, being kids. Yet she continued to go around and collect things and keep adding them into her life. And she began to realize that maybe these were things that she thought were interesting, but she should have never picked them up. They should have just stayed right where they were. And all she wanted to do was live life and go forward and be with the kids, but she couldn't. She was weighed down. And not only was she adding things to her, but other people were now handing things to her, forcing her to carry stuff that she was never meant to carry. All this would burden her. It would hurt her. It would cause her pain, and she had no control over it. This girl represents us. Because all she wants to do is live her life and move forward, but she can't. She doesn't know how. Hi, everybody. My name is Steve. Hi, I'm Jen. Welcome to Family Worship Center. And we're part of the Celebrate Recovery team that meets every Tuesday at 6.30. Uh, the reason I came was because I needed support. I needed to uh, find some people that were like me, that had the same value system as me, that struggled like me. And I heard about Celebrate Recovery, and it really does work. Yeah. I think the one thing I love about Celebrate Recovery the most is that you find family, people with uh, real issues that are looking for real solutions who really find Jesus in the program. And every third Tuesday of the month, we get together and we eat and we fellowship and we have a good time and it is family and I look forward to it more than anything. You know I think the thing that I want to tell everybody is it's very awkward the first time that you come you feel out of place and you feel you feel like you know this isn't right for you until about three quarters of the way through it and you start to realize that you're at home. You're you can show up and you don't have to buy anything you don't have to have materials uh, you come as you are and you can know that you're in a safe place and you don't have to worry about condemnation. Hi, my name's Troy, and Celebrate Recovery has completely changed my life. It gave me a sense of what family and the church should really look like. It has really been a blessing to me. The Lord has worked in my heart and my soul for many different issues. I thought it was more of people who struggled with drugs and alcohol, and I've come to realize that it's people who struggle with any issues, and it doesn't matter what part of um, your walk with Christ you're in, it is amazing. Is because you need people to come alongside of you to help you take that weight off because we don't know how to take that off. We only know how to add things to our lives. We don't know how to remove them. We need help. And when that happens, there's this joy of freedom that comes over us and we begin to run and move forward because we're no longer weighed down. And what Celebrate Recovery is, it's a ministry of reconciliation. It's a ministry of hope. It's a ministry of life where you get to celebrate freedom. You get to celebrate joy. You get to celebrate coming alive and not being stuck where you have always been.